Hi guys, welcome back to my video. My name is Freya and here we discuss trans identity issues along with a lot of other issues. Um, the next topic is when I said I'm halfway through it. So I had another video months ago and I said that I'm halfway through my life because I have to remind myself my age. I'm nearly 40. Whoops, I hope that didn't just knock the microphone. Um, I'm being quite casual at the moment as you can see and I'm halfway through it. What I meant when I said that was, I don't care. A lot of people, they hang on to this idea of like life and, oh, you know, life is short and we only have a certain amount of time. And this is the rhetoric that you hear all the time. You know, people saying, oh, well, I hope if I exercise, I can get an extra 10 years. Or I hope that I go on some nice holidays and I have good experiences and, all this kind of stuff. How do you think that I feel about that? Honestly, watch my videos, watch my behavior. How do you think I feel about that? When I tell you I'm halfway through it. No one talks about life when they say they're halfway through it. That means it's like a level, like I'm playing a video game and I'm halfway through it. A lot of people say, oh, I'm leveling up. I'm leveling up this year. What are you leveling up? exactly like i'm halfway through it means i'm happy when i get to the end okay when this is over i will be at peace the reason why i can give that some foundation is because i've been resuscitated twice i've been at the point of death twice and i've been brought back to life twice and i can tell you what it is the most peaceful calming moments you will ever have in your life it doesn't matter about your bills or your council tax or whether you go to work next week or if your car is going to start none of these things matter because what happens something inside of you literally tells you everything is going to be okay that's it you don't need to know anything else everything else is irrelevant at that point and I tell you what that was the biggest amount of peace I've ever had in my life and no that doesn't mean that I'm suicidal it doesn't mean I'm advocating for people to not be here or not be alive I'm not advocating for suicide or anything like that all I'm saying is that don't be afraid of death don't fear the end because as a Buddhist, I truly believe that it's not the end. We have such strong spirits. We have such a rich history to the world, to connecting, is that as a Buddhist, I believe in reincarnation. And as a Taoist, I believe in this rejuvenation of the spirit. So when you light a flame, it's not one continuous flame. It's thousands and thousands of flames. The same way when a tree has an apple, it has another apple and another apple and another apple but really it's all the same apple as when we have human beings in a hospital one human being will pass away whilst another one is being born the only difference is that we bring conscious attachment to that human being so then we somehow try to attach an ego to it and we try and say that this is this is somehow different to everyone else and the point is that we're not different, we're all one. So whether I agree with you or you disagree with me, it's irrelevant because we are the same thing itself. And that is my point. So there's no reason to fear the end because I will go somewhere else and someone else will come in. And that's why I'm not afraid of this stuff. It's quite often why when I'm riding my bike, I don't really have a lot of fear. I don't think, oh, I'm going to hit that curb or, oh, I'm going to hit the pavement or the tree. Or when I'm crossing the street, I don't care that there's a bus coming towards me. Because the point is, is that I've removed the idea of fearing death. And when I say I'm halfway through it, it means that life has been one massive overwhelming challenge. And I've never met anyone like me. I've never met anyone else who has that kind of, that attitude. You know, it's not, I mean, you could say it's a morbid one. I don't think it's a morbid one. I think I'm just at peace with myself. I'm not suicidal. 
I don't believe in anything like that. But I am at peace with myself and I think when that day comes, I will meet it gladly. Like with the Deathly Hallows when um, JK Rowling wrote, um, you know, the three brothers and the last one in the, the Hallows said that he met death as a friend and they went calmly to the afterlife. I loved when she wrote that. And again, JK Rowling is always a massive inspiration to me. I would always say that, you know, she is, um, despite some of her comments and against my people, is that we don't need to have these fears. Just embrace each day as it is and live it to the best. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you again. Peace.